Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me today. I'm Ambassador Chantrell Davis of Preach Bill Force, not an echo. Today is May the 8th of 2018. It is 12.53 a.m. p.m. Central Standard Time. Thank you for joining me today on Right Word in Due Season, Apples of Gold and Pictures of Silver, a small bite for the babes that will require them to desire a meaty, full plate. Uh, today's word uh, number seven, I'm going to go in the order. Um, as many of you have seen, this is a re-recording. I've done them in audio and in obedience, I'm doing them in video. And uh, hereafter, they will be done video. Um, uh, just moving forth before I go into the rest of the words that he's given me. And you have to go into the beginning of the introduction because word means more than a single word. Okay, so it's right word in due season, even though these messages will be kept short. Uh, Desire 15 minutes and under. Um and for those who desire more meaty messages, I have those. You can listen to them. And those uh, are flat out. If you're concerned about the time, that tells me that somewhat you're still a babe. But sometimes you're just on your way to work and you need a short word and you don't have time to listen to the whole thing. Um, but these words will encourage and give you spoons of the word of God until you can get to your plate. OK, <laughs> so you can look at it like that as well. Uh, the seventh word of right word in due season is the word deny which floored me. I'm going to give a brief testimony on that because I was coming in from a, a video shoot with my husband and we were worked all day from sun up to sundown to do this video for this conference and came home uh, with production and I was sitting on the bed tired and I went to check my email and I was just scrolling through Facebook just to unwind. I had just got on and somebody had said that the word of God tells us that if you deny uh, Jesus before men, he would deny you. And she and, and this person boldly said that I do not deny my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So therefore I say right now, and she typed it and believed that's what it was. And I heard the Lord loud and clear. And as tired as I was, I knew I had to type. He said, oh, do you really? Which tells me that she had to say it in the form of arrogance or he wouldn't have spoke to me. And what she thinks is denial is not denial. And I know that the Lord does this because he needs us to understand that we can't do this walk without grace. We have to be confident in his finished work because you can't do it. He's done it already. And we are just being transformed from one degree of glory to another, uh, from faith to faith to glory to glory. So the right word in due season today, the apple of gold, is the word deny. I'm going to start off with the definition of the word deny. Because he told me to get it, and he had me get it quick. To refuse to let have, okay? Let's let him have his way with you. Let anything he tells you to do, how he tells you to act, where he wants you to go, right down to what he wants you to do for a living. To let have. First, let him have you. Many of us have received him as Savior, but not as Lord. Let him have you. Okay? To deny oneself something. To restrain, especially from indulging in some pleasure. To deny yourself. You want to go do out there. They look like they're having fun in the world. They're kicking it. They're drinking. They're partying. They're clubbing. And they're doing their own thing. Some of them just traveling. They may not be doing nothing ratchet like that. They may just be going to Sunday church and just traveling and living. But if that ain't what the Lord told them to do, guess what? They're still in denial of him. They just doing what they want, how they want. Even though they may not be in the clubs, they may just be traveling where they want, when they want. It ain't none of it where the Lord told them to go. And you sitting over there in envy and they're not even in the will of God. They have denied him. Okay. Next definition to refuse to grant as a petition or a request. Okay. For you to yield and obey the sound of his voice. Grant him all that he asks of you. Okay. The next to declare untrue or contradict. OK, to declare untrue by contradiction. What does the word of God say that the name of the Lord God is blasphemed through you? He was speaking to Pharisees and people who were living unholy. But because of the way you're living, because of the way you're talking, because of the way you're dressing, because of what you're doing, they blaspheme his name. So his name is blasphemed through you. You're walking in contradiction. You are declaring him as untrue. So when he lives holy and loving and kind without gossiping, without reviling, but yet you do those things, you declare him to be untrue. You have denied him. OK, next definition to refuse to recognize or acknowledge when you don't acknowledge him in all your ways. Pray before you go places. Sit still till there's a witness in your spirit. Go where he tells you to go. Get rid of who he tells you to get rid of. Accept those he tells you to accept, even if they're hard. You're not recognizing or acknowledging him in all your ways. You have denied him. And I mean all your ways. You don't just get up and do what you want. You don't get up and just travel because you feel like it. There's a lot of people doing good things, but they're doing things he didn't tell them to do. They have denied him. He didn't tell you to go there. It was a good thing to do it, but he didn't tell you to go there. You've denied him. 
You're not obeying his voice. You're going your own way. Now the word to contradict. So if you're in contradiction to the way he lived, walked, the way he is, the way he loves, the way he didn't revile, the way he didn't threaten, he wasn't haughty, he wasn't puffed up, he didn't need to be seen, he didn't seek his own, deny. You've denied him. Okay? To contradict, to be in contradiction with, you, you, you're opposite of him. If you're doing anything he wouldn't do, you're opposite of him. To deny the truth of, what did I say? You are, his name is being blasphemed through you because you are walking and talking and living in a way that's not him. So they think if this is what the Lord is, I don't want it. They're blaspheming him because of you. You've denied him. To prove negative or show to be false. So when you're acting ungodly, unholy, out there with your breasts hanging out, your butt cheeks showing, having a fur, talking about people, gossiping, bashing, uh, mocking and scoffing, you are declaring him to be untrue, causing him to seem fake. And proven negative, even though he's true. You have denied him. To be resistant to. He said you do always resist the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit telling you not to go there. He's telling you not to watch that. He's telling you not to talk to that person. He's telling you to cut that person off. He's telling you to forgive that person. You resist. And anything you resisted to, you have denied him. It ain't just verbally saying it. You deny him in your walk. Just like your walk can tell the truth. He said, do I become your enemy because I tell you? Well, that's a whole message I ain't delivered yet. But do I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Many of you ain't even ministering. And some of you, like many of the people that know me, won't even listen to the message. His family don't even listen to him. But your life tells the truth against them. The way you walk is telling them the truth. The way you talk is telling them the truth and they hate you for it. Okay? Catch that. Definition of contradiction. Okay? Contradicting contradiction. The speech, the speech act and contradict of someone. you even talking different than he talked. You've denied him. OK, to be in opposition between two conflicting forces or ideas. If your ideas are separate from his, which means that holy word, you will have denied him. You don't get to pick and choose what you want to do that day. You look, act, talk, do everything the world does. You are in contradictory to him. So you have denied Jesus. It doesn't matter that you go to church. It doesn't matter that you pray. Your walk has contradicted him. So you are denying him. OK. Denying Jesus in your walk and works. Titus 1 and 6, 1 verse 16. They profess that they know God. They profess that they know him. But in works, they deny him. We're not saved by our works. But the way you live in, the way you talk, the things you do, that's a work. You deny him. Being abominable, disobedient, and unto every good work you are reprobate. You are reprobate to every good work. Because if you're contradictory, you are reprobate to every good work. You're ruining every good work that can be done because of that thing you just did. Causing the ministry to be blamed and his holy name to be blasphemed through your action. That's Titus 1 and 16. You're having no love, jealous, contention, envy, pride. You've denied him. No love. You're jealous. You're envy. you strife. you comparison. You're in competition with somebody's portion. You've denied him. And envy and pride. And pride comes in so many forms. You won't accept him. You think you don't need nothing. Can't nobody tell you nothing. Who are you to be preaching to me? People that think they know everything. Of course nobody ever says they know everything. You just can't tell them nothing. Catch that. No kindness. Partiality, which means you favor this person over the other. You've denied him. No mercy. Unforgiving, dividers, abusive, intrusive, cold, denying those who are in need when you have it to give. You have denied him. If you don't walk in the way that reflects him, you have denied him. You should be a reflection of him, not on him. Catch that. You should be a reflection of him, not a reflection on him. They're looking bad upon him because of you. You've denied him. Deny yourself, and what does that mean? Matthew 16 and 24. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. That's your cross. He's already dealt with the cross of salvation and the resurrection and forgiveness of all sin. Your cross has burned the rejection. Your cross is putting your, your power under his will. To walk away from people that's hurting you when he ain't told you to walk away, you stay there and you endure. Put your power under his will. Take your cross up. Let people eject you. Let them reject you. Let them lie on you. Let them talk about you. Let them think ill. You don't defend yourself. Take up your cross. He's already buried his. We must know him in the resurrection fellowship of his, uh, the, the, fellowship, uh, the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering too. That's your cross. 
They're going to hate you because you follow him. That's your cross. You're going to be ejected and hated without a cause, though. Take it patiently and grow. Luke 9, verse 23. And he said to them, all, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me daily. That's daily following. That's just showing it in the word again. Okay. You may want to watch a show over reading. Deny yourself and read. You may want to act out on someone who has wronged you. Deny your right to respond. That's power under will. He had all power to deliver himself. Power couldn't save us. His obedience saved us. Catch that. His, sub his submissiveness to it, though, the will of the Father saved us. Because he had power to call legions of angels to deliver himself. We'd all been damned, but he'd have been saved. He, he'd have been relieved. But before the, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross. What was that joy? Seeing us seated in heavenly places with him, hold and restored to God. That was the joy set before him. Okay? You may want to repeat something you heard. Gossiping. I'm just sharing. It's gossip. Deny yourself. It is not a characteristic of God that reflects on him. Therefore, you have denied him. OK. Deny it and subdue it. Take your cross up. You are predestined. You are called. That means he qualified you. This is a day to day walk. You are example. I'm going to read first Peter 2, 21 through 23. For even here unto were you called, even here unto were you called. What is he speaking about? Because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. We're going to suffer for his sake. Okay. Who did no sin. Neither was God found in his mouth. Who when he was reviled. He reviled not again. When he suffered. He threatened not. You don't know who you messing with. Uh, duh, duh. Deny. Okay. He threatened not. But committed himself, committed himself to him that judges rightly. Commit them to the vengeance of the Lord. Commit them to the judgment of God and revile not. No gal found in your mouth and you don't revile. Who threaten not. Commit them to the one that judges righteously. That means their behavior as a whole. Now you can judge between right and wrong. That's judgment. Knowing the judgment of God. You know, and you don't kill. You know, you don't steal. You know, you don't lie. You know, you don't commit adultery. You know, you don't fornicate. That's the judgment of God. But commit them to him that judge it rightfully, righteously. Okay. There is nothing that you can do to earn eternity. Okay. It is already done. Pay for with the precious of his blood. There's nothing you could have done. Okay. You have to live the life he lived. Realize that the life is in you. And to live the life he lived, you have to walk the walk he walked. And all things contrary to that is denial of him. So therefore you have denied him. He said in all manner of holy conversation, that's the way you walk and you talk. You have denied him in your walk, denied him in your talk, denied him in your treatment of others, denied him in your generosity, denied him in your heart, denied him of your time, denied, denied him of your will, being self-willed, being presumptuous, being jealous, being contention, looking at somebody else's portion. You've denied him. And I would suggest you look at that word denying Meditate on that word again, and you're going to realize that you need grace every day of your life, every minute of your life. Okay? Quit taking things literal. He's bigger than that. Bring him out of your finite mind. To deny is not only to audibly do it, but to deny him in the way you walk, talk, live, and be. If it's contradicted to the way he walked, talk, and live, and was, you have openly denied him because his name is blasphemed through the heathen through you. Again, this is right word in due season. This is the seventh word, and it is denied. Apples of gold and pictures of silver. That word today was denied. Thank you for joining me. Grace be with you, and I love you all.